Hey everybody, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. It is the first Monday of June and I'm getting very excited because now I get to actually play with the items in the new catalog and we can all order all the lovely things we're seeing. So uh, today I'm going to do a little reveal on two of my VIP programs I do with my customers. Uh, first of all, if you stamped me or ordered from me last month, you have some card candy coming your way. This is a sneak peek of some of the stuff I put together in your card candy kits along with a card backer. Um, I used samples of the designer series paper from the Share What You Love bundle along with some of their fun embellishments. So if you're lucky enough to get a nice orange envelope in the mail, then you will have a card kit inside that you can make um, a sample. And then if you want to share it, you can snap a photo and email it to me and I'll share it on the show and tell news. And then you could enter to win into the card candy drawing at the end of the month just by submitting your creation. So, and then I send you some fun Stampin' Up! links. So, uh, that's our card candy. So, let me go ahead and put together a sample with the card candy kit. Um, not that you have to copy mine, I want yours all to be original and you can use any stamp set you want to add to these. But let me go ahead and give you an idea of something you might do. Now I just picked up one of the samples by random, okay, and I got a white card kit with it. So I think this is a really fun kind of wild background. And this one's a little more tame today and kind of excited, so I'm going to use this as my, as my background. Now of course you can cut this up, use it as strips, make it smaller, do whatever you want with it, but I'm going to use that one full size. Um, then I've got this long piece, and I thought maybe we would just use it as a paper ribbon. Maybe we'll use the brown side, just to create a little calmness there. And then I wanted to make a fun little tag down here and embellish that on top, so we're going to use our triple banner punch to create a little fun flagged tag. So I'm just sticking that in my punch to get a little fun tail there. And all I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put some snail. It's really hard to snail the really pretty paper, but we're going to do it. So I'm going to put the snail there, and then I'm just going to use my grid paper to go across it squarely. I'm not really worried about where it sits. I just want it to be square like a T. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this piece. to the front of our card. Now this is specialty paper so it is nice and thick so you don't necessarily have to back it onto our thick white cardstock. You could use thin white cardstock. It would be just fine because it's got nice thickness to the cardstock itself, to the designer series paper. Okay, so I stuck this on here. Now I'm going to use my paper snips and I'm just going to off, snip off across the top of that flag so I have that piece to use for something else. Now this piece I'm just going to put on here as a paper ribbon and it's going to go all the way across. See how easy that was? One, two, three. So a little punch, some adhesive, and we labeled that right up. Now I'm going to borrow from <clears throat> the beautiful You stamp set, the wishing you brighter days to come because I thought this was a nice vibrant card. And I've got Blackberry Bliss here on the table so I think that'll be fun too. Lots of color for this card. So I'm just going to stamp on my tag. Okay, and then we're going to pop that up with a dimensional or two just to give it a little pop. And of course, you can add any embellishments you want to your card candy kit. I have no rules other than be creative. So, and enjoy the product share. Play with something new that maybe you don't have in your collection. And then if you want more of it, you know where to reach me. I'm happy to help you find it. Okay, so this is going to go, let's see, we're going to overlap it right there. Alright, so nice and simple card candy there. Okay, so you guys play with them. Some of the, some of the kits have the doilies, some of the kits have the tags. So come up with something fun and then send me off a quick photo of that and I would love to share it with the audience. Okay, so there's that one. Now, the second challenge I do for my customers is a card sketch challenge. This month I am borrowing a sketch from the Case the Sketch blog. 
Okay, so you can see all of their sketches. It's a public blog. You can see all of their sketches at katethissketch.blogstop.com. And uh, I have that information on my newsletter. So if you get my newsletters on Tuesdays, all the information is there. Now, when they give a, a sketch, they don't give any measurements. So you kind of have to decide how you want to interpret the sketch. And CAS without the E means clean and simple. So they try to give you something simple to work with. So let me show you a couple ideas I kind of played with in my head and we're actually going to put them together now for the sketch. And so you can use your card candy to make the sketch or you can use totally different product to make a sketch and enter twice. Um, I do two separate drawings, one for the sketch and one for the card candy. So, um, you know, do what you want to do and let me know where you want to be entered and I'm happy to enter you. So this one, I took, again, one of my card candy kits, okay, this one. I'm not using the big piece of DSP this time. I instead am using a piece of our grapefruit, grapefruit grove paper and I've embossed it with our lovely floral folder. So that's going to become the main piece on my card. So let me go ahead and snail that down. And you might notice I've embossed it kind of up in the corner because this case kind of has this big open space so I filled it with an emboss. So we're just going to go ahead and center that on our card just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to add this strip of DSP across the bottom, just like that. Then I had a little piece of a previous project um, where I have a little bit of uh, early espresso cardstock that was on my table. So I just trimmed that down about three-eighths of an inch, and I'm just going to use that as a paper ribbon going across, just like that. Okay, and then this one, it was a longer strip, so I've cut it down to fit on my card. I'm not even going to back it, I'm just going to put it right on. And we're just going to position that over here as a little sidebar embellishment. Okay, and I'm not even going to put words or anything on that right now. Then I can use it um, however I decide to use it later on. So, again, there was, that was the sketch, and that's one interpretation of the sketch that I used with the card candy kit. Now, I have a second one that I used with different product. This product comes from the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper, which is new, and I'm using Blackberry Bliss. Um, as a coordinating color, and then this designer series paper has the Blackberry Bliss and the Grapefruit Grove um, colors in it, so I'm using another little paper ribbon to do that. So, what I've done is I took one piece of four by five and a quarter designer series paper, okay, I've said this before in some other videos, and then I just cut off the bottom one and a half inches, and I'm just going to flip it over. See, that coordinates really nicely to do that together. So, I'm just going to back this on to my Whisper White mount here for the front of my card. I decided I wanted a little bit of a frame around my paper just to break it off of the Blackberry Bliss card just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to add the bottom piece. Just going to match up my edges. Okay, and then I've got this tiny strip. Now this is like not even a quarter of an inch. It's probably like a little more than eighth of an inch. It was a little piece of scrap I had on the table. So I'm going to try to use my liquid glue here. Hopefully it'll be cooperative this morning and come out nicely. I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back and then I'm going to put that across the seam there. Come on. There we go. Really? There it goes. Oop, now I got too much. Spread that out. Alright, spread out. Let's see. Piece of scrap here. I can rub some of that off. You don't want to use too much of the liquid glue. See, I was impatient. I had none and then I had way too much. You don't want to use too much of the liquid glue because it will. Um, bleed over on your card and then it'll be super sticky. So I'm just cleaning up my edge there a little bit with a piece of scrap. 
Okay, so now this piece I'm going to put right across the seam of those two papers. Just like that. Okay, and now this whole thing is going to get mounted to the front of my Blackberry Bliss card. Watch how this is going to pop with the color. You see all that framing? Just pop, pop, pop. There we go. Okay, so again, the case. All right, we've got our card, we've got a piece on the bottom, something in the top, a little piece of trim, and then something down the side. So we have a set, and I used it last week, and I said, hey, this is the perfect set to use again, called Vertical Greetings. And so it's a set that has a whole bunch of greetings that go up and down. Okay, and since this has an up and down piece, I decided to use it. So I'm going to use the Just Because stamp, and I've cut myself a very thin, uh, it's half inch by three and a quarter inches, which is about the same size as my stamp, and I can see right through to get that down on there. So I'm using a clear block. So there's that. Then I cut two more pieces um, of cardstock, just slightly bigger for each layer. And I'm just going to create a mounting bed for that expression. So they're all just an eighth of an inch smaller than the previous piece on length and width. So, and don't worry about trying to figure that out. I'll have it all on my uh, tutorial on my Tuesday newsletter. So just subscribe to the newsletter. The links are below. I know I say that every time, but um, then you've got easy tutorials every week. Three tutorials every week that you can use at your discretion. So, see how I just mounted that up? And now that whole thing is just going to go on to our card. Follow the sketch along the side. And there we go. So pretty easy, huh? So there you go, guys. Now, um, Card Candy only went out to people who shopped and stamped with me last month, but anyone who is a subscriber to my newsletter can play in my case challenge. So again, you just have to create a card. You can use any product that is in your stamp room. Uh, send me a quick snapshot, give me permission to share it, and you'll be entered to win in the Card Candy or the monthly sketch challenge drawings at the end of the month. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you're enjoying the new catalog. I hope you're enjoying some of our summer weather that is coming our way finally. And I'll see you all again on Wednesday when I do another stamp and Show and Tell. Thumbs up and comments are always welcomed. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And I will see you all very soon. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.